good day. The topic we are treating today is statistics. In this topic, we solve more examples on mean, median, and mode of grouped and ungrouped data by Monserrat. In this lesson, we treat more examples on mean, median, and mode of grouped and ungrouped data, which is a continuation of the last video where we also solve some examples on mean, median, and mode of grouped and ungrouped data. So the objective of this video is to solve examples on mean, median, and mode of grouped and ungrouped data so that by the end of the lesson, we will be able to tackle different questions on mean, median, and mode of grouped and ungrouped data. The topics you must have known before you can watch this video is a tabular representation of data where you are taught how to, how to construct a frequency and cumulative frequency table and also measure of location where you are given the formula for obtaining the mean of grouped and ungrouped data, median of grouped and ungrouped data, and mode of data. So now we move to the next example, which is the ninth example. Here we are given a table of score and its frequencies. So these are the scores, score 4, it has 3 frequencies, that is it occurs twice, score 7 occurs 5 times, score 8 occurs twice, score 11 occurs 7 times, score 13 occurs twice, and score 8 also occurs once. So we are to find the square of the mode. The first thing you do is to find the mode, then you square the mode after you must have obtained it. This is a UTMA pass question. UTM star and one. So move to the solution of this question. So from the table, if you want to obtain the mode of the score, you pick the score with the highest frequency. And here, if you look at the frequency, the highest frequency is 7, and the score corresponding to the highest frequency is 11. So the mode of the scores is 11 because it has the highest frequency. We are conversant with the topic measure of location, you understand what I'm saying. That is how to determine the mode. The mode is any item that has the highest frequency. So therefore, the score 11 is the mode. But the question says, find the square of the mode. So now we find the square of the mode, which is 11. So the square of the mode will be what? 11 square, which is 121. Now 11 square is like 11 multiplied by 11 which is 121. Therefore, the square of the mode, as the question has asked, is 121. And that solves the question. Now we move to the 10th question. In the 10th question, we are also given a table of scores and their frequencies, score 0 to 6, and their frequencies, that is the number of times they occur. So the question says, in the distribution above, find the mode and median respectively so we first obtain the mode of the scores and then the median of the scores this is also a utma pass question utma 1988 has been a very long time so now these are the scores for zeros it occurs seven times for one occurs 11 times and so on so the first thing we do is to obtain the mode so first obtain the mode so from the table, if you want to obtain the mode, you go to the table and look for the highest frequency. So if you check the frequencies, 11 is the highest frequency, and the score corresponding to 11 is 1. So the mode of this score is 1. So that is how to obtain the mode. It's as simple as that. So now, if you want to obtain, so we move to the second question, which says we should obtain the median also so we obtain the median of this distribution so you can see that this is an ungrouped data but the data is large you know we have median of ungrouped data when the data is not large median of ungrouped data of ungrouped data when the data is large and median of group data but here we can see that this this here is ungrouped it is not grouped we don't have any class interval we don't have any class limits so it is ungrouped 
but the that the height time is very large that is how that is why they have to tabulate it like this so the first thing you do is to construct a cumulative frequency table so this is the score from 0 to 6 and these are their frequencies so now you find the cumulative frequency which you are very conversant with you know that the first cumulative frequency of the first score is equal to the frequency of that score so the cumulative frequency of, of the first score is 7 which is equal to the, which is equal to the frequency you can say 7 7 so to obtain the cumulative frequency of the second score is going to be the cumulative frequency of the first score added to the frequency of that second score which is 7 plus 11 18 and you do the same thing for the rest so to get the cumulative frequency of score 2 it's going to be 18 plus 6 24 24 plus 7 31 31 plus 7 38 38 plus 5 for 3 for 3 plus 3 for 6 so the, you know we already say the last the cumulative frequency of the last item equals to the total frequency so let's check if that's correct the cumulative frequency of the last score here is 46 so let's sum up the frequency and see if we are going to get 46 7 plus 11 18 18 plus 6 24 24 plus 7 31 31 plus 7 38 38 plus 5 for 3 for 3 plus 3 46 so we can see that the total number of score is even that is total number of score here total number of score we have is 46 Note that adding up this score, that is the number of times the scores occur, if you add them together, which is the total number of items you have in your data, is 46. And we can see that 46 is an even number. So, you know, we have two formulas for obtaining the median. The median, the first one is when you have an even number of items. And the second one is when you have an odd number of items. So we use the formula for obtaining the median when we have even number of items. And that formula is given by this. N over 2 cumulative frequency plus N over 2 plus 1 cumulative frequency. Which is 46 over 2 cumulative frequency. You know the N is the total number. That is the sum of the frequencies. Which is 46 over 2 plus 46 over 2 plus 1. So 46 over 2 will give you 23rd, which is 23rd cumulative frequency plus the 24th, you know, 20, 46 over 2, 23, 23 plus 1 will give 24th. Then you divide 23rd cumulative frequency. You add the 23rd cumulative frequency to the 24th cumulative frequency and divide by 2 to obtain the median. So let's check for the 23rd cumulative frequency here. We can see that it is within this A range. For this, it is greater than 7, but less or equals to 18. So for this one, it is greater than 18, but less or equals to 24. And that, is, that will be numbers between 19 and 24. And we can see that 23 falls in this group. So the 23 cumulative frequency is 2. And 24 cumulative frequency, as you can see, is also 2. So now substitute that into the formula, which is 2 plus 2 divided by 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Therefore, the median of the distribution, the mode of the distribution is 1 and the median is 2. And that solves the question. Now, we move to the 11th question. The 11th question says, 30 boys and 8 girls sat for a test. Because we were told that the number of boys is 30 and the number of girls is x but we are given the mean scores of the boys and the girls to be 6 and 8 respectively that is the mean score of the boy is 6 and the mean score of the girls is 8 we are to obtain the total number of girls which is x if the total score is 468 we know that if we want to get the total number of people in that class is going to be 30 plus x which is total number of boys plus girls so now to obtain total number of boys we use the formula for obtaining the mean we already know the total number of boys but we don't know the sum of their scores we know that we are giving the mean of the boys scores we don't know the total 
sum of their scores. So we first obtain the total sum of their scores. Then we can use that to obtain the total number of girls in the class. So now we solve the question. You know, from the question, the total number of boys is 30 and their mean score is 60. I know if we want to obtain the mean of mean score of boys to be the sum of scores for all the boys of a total number of boys. That is how to obtain the mean, as we all know, the score sum of all each the sum of scores of each boys, that is for the first boy up to the 30th boy, divided by the total number of boys, which is 30. You know, from the question, we are given the mean score of the boys, which is 6, equals to sum of scores for all boys, which we don't know, and total number of boys from the question is 30. So, we make sum of scores for all boys, so the formula, so now be 60 multiplied by 30, which will give 180. Therefore, the sum of scores for all boys is 180. Keep that aside. We also find the two, we also find the sum of scores for all girls, and that we use the same formula: mean score mean score of girls equals to mean score of girls equals sum of scores for all girls over total number of girls. You know, that is how to obtain the mean score, that is the mean of their scores. So, you know, the mean of girls from the question is given as 8, and the total number of girls from the question is x. So now we're fixing the value. 8 equals sum of scores for all girls divided by s. So, to obtain, use, you make sum of scores for all girls as a of formula, then you Multiply this by this, so the sum of scores for all girls is 8x. But we are given that the total score equals sum of scores for all boys plus sum of scores for all girls. And that is the total score. So we are given that the total score is 468. And you know, we obtain that the sum of score for all boys in this first place. We obtain the total scores, the sum of scores for all boys to be 180. And the sum of scores for all girls to be 8x. So substitute that 180 plus 8x. So 40, we collect the like terms. It's going to be 8x equals 468 minus 180, which we give to 88. So to obtain the value of x, we divide through by its coefficients, which is 8. So x will be equal to 36. Therefore, The value of x, which is the total number of girls, is 36. So now we move to the next question. The next question is also a UTM pass question. They are given the number of goals scored by a football team in 20 matches. So this is the number of this is the number of goals scored by a football team in 20 matches. They scored zero goals thrice one goal five times two goals seven times and so on so we have to obtain so we have to obtain the mean and mode of the goals this is also a UTME pass question UTM 1985 so the first thing that we do is to first obtain the mean of the data it is an ungrouped data with large number of items and also we obtain the mode. So you know this is an ungrouped data with large number of items. That has been the formula for obtaining the mean of this kind of a question has been given. So now the first thing you do, first obtain the mean, you construct a frequency table. This is number of goals which is representing the xi. As we have in the formula, so it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to the fifth goal. Number of matches they add, so they have for zero goals, they add zero goals in three matches, one goal in five matches, two goals in seven matches, three goals in four matches, four goals in one matches, but five goals, they don't have five goals at all. So now, 
this is the frequency of the goals that is number of matches where they add the goals this is the frequency so now you know the formula for obtaining the mean will be the summation of the frequency multiplied by the number of, of the number of goals that is number of matches multiplied by the number of goals divided by the number of matches you know the reason why we add this column is to know the total number of zero goals they have so for you to know the addition of the zero goals you know they have zero goals in three matches which is zero in the first match zero in the second match zero in the third match zero plus zero plus zero we give zero same thing as saying zero multiplied by three so in one goal in five matches so one goal in five places which is one plus one plus one plus one plus one which will give five we same thing as multiplying one by five that is what that is why we have this column so to know the total number of one goal the team has the total number of two goals they had the total number three goals they had so this is that is the reason for this column so here we multiply zero by three zero one by five 5, 2 by 7, 14, 3 by 4, 12, 4 by 1, 4, and 5 multiplied by 0, we give 0. So for us to obtain the mean, the formula says summation of the frequency multiplied by the item divided by the summation of the frequency. And if you sum up the frequency, you have 20, which amounts to the 20 matches the team, where the team scored the goals. So for it to obtain the mean, you sum all this and then divide it by the sum of all this. So if we should sum this up, we have 0 plus 5, 5, 5 plus 14, 19, 19 plus 12, 31, and 31 plus 4, 35, 35 plus 0, we give 35. So the formula for obtaining the mean of ungrouped data, here the number of items is large, the same thing as the formula for obtaining the mean of group data, which is summation of frequency multiplied by the item, Divided by the frequency of the height, the, divided by the summation of the frequency of the item. I've already obtained the value for this, which is 35, divided by the value for this, which is 20. So 35 divided by 20 will give 1.75. Therefore, the mean distribution is 1.75. So the second question says we should obtain the mode. You know, obtaining the mode is very simple. That is, taking the goals that are the highest number of matches so if you should look at you know this is representing the frequency that is the highest frequency so here the highest frequency is seven and the goal corresponding to the highest frequency is two therefore the mode is two and the highest frequency is seven and the number of goals corresponding to the highest frequency is two therefore the mode is two and that solves the question the mean of the, the the mean of the distribution is 1.75 and the mode is 2. Now we move to the 13th question. So in the 13th question, we are giving um distribution. You can see that this is a grouped data. You can see we have a class interval and the frequency. So the question says we should obtain the median of the distribution. This is also a UTME pass question. You know, to obtain the median of the distribution, the first thing we do is to construct a cumulative frequency where we have the class interval, the frequency, we have the class boundaries and the cumulative frequency. Then we obtain the median class and solve for the median number. So here, yeah, this is the class given we have class 1 to 5 of this table, which, which has two frequencies, class 6 to 10 has 4, class 11 to 15 has 5, and so on. So this is it here. So now you know how to obtain the class boundary. For you to obtain the lower class boundary, it will be the lower class limit, you subtract. To be the lower class limit, minus 1 over 2 of unit of measurement. You can see that we count in 1s here. 1, 2, 3, up to 5. 6, 7, 8, up to 9. So it's going to be 1 minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 1, which is 1 minus half, which is half. And half is 0 0.5. So to get the upper class boundary, it's going to be 5 plus 1 over 2 multiplied by unit of measurement. 
So 5 plus half multiplied by 1, 5 plus half, 5 and a half, and that is 5.5. So you do the same thing for all other classes. So now the cumulative frequency, as I've explained earlier, the first cumulative, the cumulative frequency of the first class equals to the frequency of that class. That is why we have 2 here. So to get the cumulative frequency of the second class, it's going to be the cumulative frequency of the first class added to the frequency of the second class, 2 plus 4, 6. Do the same thing for all other classes. And you know that the last cumulative frequency here equals to the total the frequency. So the total frequency is 20. You want to check 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 2, 13. 13 plus 3, 16. 16 plus 2, 18, 18 plus 1, 19, and 19 plus 1, 20. So the total number of frequency is 20. So we have constructed the cumulative frequency table. The next thing we do is to obtain the median class. Which of the classes, where, which, of the, which of these classes does the median number fall? That is the meaning of obtaining the median class. And you use the formula L over 2 to cumulative frequency. N is the total number of frequency, which is 20 here. So we have 20 over 2 cumulative frequency, which is the 10th cumulative frequency. And we know that the 10th cumulative frequency will fall here because here, you know, the number here is greater than 2 but less or equals to 6. So we have numbers between 2 and 6 here. But for here, it will be greater than 6 but less or equals to 11. So we have numbers from 7 to 11 here. And you know that seven numbers from 7 to 11, you know that 10 falls within this range. Therefore, the median class will be the class 11 to 15. That is how to obtain the median class. This is what I've been talking about. So now, we already obtained the median class. The next thing you do is to write down the formula for obtaining the mean value. This has been taught in the topic measure of location. So the, this is the formula for obtaining the mean value. Here, this is the lower class boundary of the median class. This is the total frequency. This is the cumulative frequency before the median class. This is the frequency of the median class. And this is the size or width of the median class. So the first thing we check is the lower class boundary of the median class. We order the median class is the class 11 to 15. So what is the lower class boundary? Lower class boundary is 10.5. Your N is 20. FB, which is the cumulative frequency before the median class, you can see that it is 6. This is the median class. This is the class before the median class. And its cumulative frequency is 6. And F is the frequency of the median class. The frequency of the median class is 5. And C is the class width. So to obtain the class width, you subtract the lower class boundary from the upper class boundary. 15.5 minus 10.5 is 5. Therefore, C is 5. So you substitute those those parameters into the into the formula. And this is it. L1 is 10.5 lower class boundary. N is 20. The cumulative frequency before the median class is 6. The frequency of the median class is 5. And the class width is 5. So substitute the parameters into the formula. The median value, that is the median number, will be equal to 10.5 plus 20 over 2 minus 6 over 5 multiplied by 5. So we have we should evaluate this. We should evaluate this. We have four. So ten point five plus four will give fourteen point five. Therefore, the median of the distribution is fourteen point five. And that solves the question. That is how to obtain the median of group data. Now we move to the 14th question. You can see that the table given in the 14th question is also a grouped table. We have a group data here. You can see that we have class intervals. So we have to obtain So we are also to obtain the median of the frequency distribution. This is very similar to the previous question. So I will just explain the steps to take. This is also a UTME past question, UTME 1994. So the first thing we do is to construct a cumulative frequency as we've done for the previous example. So we construct a cumulative frequency where you have the class boundaries, this has been explained, and the cumulative frequency, which has been explained in the previous example, note of 10, the cumulative frequency, 
the cumulative frequency of the fourth class equals to the frequency of the fourth class that's why we have six six so to get to obtain the cumulative frequency of the second class you add the cumulative frequency of the first class to the frequency of the second class 6 plus 15 21 and you do the same thing for the other classes and you know that the last class here is the frequency of the last class is the sum of all the frequencies which is 50 so if you sum this up you have 50 which is equals to this so after you've constructed the cumulative frequency the next thing we do is that we obtain the median class using the formula n over 2 to cumulative frequency i knew that the the n that is total frequency is 50 50 over 2 we give 25 so the 25th cumulative frequency will fall here you know for here we have cumulative frequency of numbers less than greater than 21 but less or equals to 41 so we have numbers that ranges between 22 and 41 in which they are inclusive i know that 25 falls within this range 22 and 41 25 falls within this range so we have obtained our median class to be class 11 to 15 so now we write down the formula this is the formula for obtaining the mean of group data this is the lower class boundary of the median class we already have the median class 11 to 15 so we don't need any other classes so the Lower class boundary of the median class, this is the lower class boundary, 10.5. The cumulative frequency before the median class, which is that F sub B, 21. The frequency of the median class, 20. And the class, the size or width of the median class is 15.5 minus 10.5, as I've explained in the previous example. So substitute the parameters into the formula. So we have 10.5 plus 50 over 2 minus 21 over 20 multiplied by 5 so 5 a1 5 a4 so we have 50 over 2 minus 21 over 4 50 over 2 is 25 25 minus 21 is 4 4 over 4 we give 1 and that's how we have 1 here so 10.5 plus 1 we give 11.5 so the median value for this distribution is 11.5 and that ends the questions so now we move to exercises you can solve so that to check if you really understand understood what we have been explaining so these are exercises these are exercises to solve to check if you really understood what we'll be explaining we have 10 exercises in all they are all utme past questions Next video will be more on statistics, that is measure of location, where we talk about the percentiles, decize, and quartiles, with sample questions and solutions. Please, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share our videos. Thank you.